us do another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section A of the August 2022 Science Paper 1. So this one is basically uh, the standard O-level physics. So in the first part of these four part series, we looked at question 1 uh, through 5. So now we are starting with question 6. So let us move straight to question 6. The following diagram shows a small pickup weighing 5,000 Newton approaching a hill. It moves up the hill at a constant speed. If the gravitational field strength is 10 Newton per kg, calculate the work done in moving the pickup up the hill. So basically we are looking for the work done. That's what the question is asking. So it's important to understand the question. Okay. Then how do we find work done? So work done is equal to basically force multiplied by the distance moved against work done. So work done is being done against gravity. So it's the distance moved against gravity. This is what is key. Of course, uh, this pickup is moving 200 meters, but it's not against gravity. It's only moving 10 meters against gravity. So the distance that we are going to use in this case is the height, which is 10 meters. Remember, is work done moving up here. So it's again, you see, the gravity. So in this case, we have force, force. What is force? You see, in this case, 5,000. Multiply by the height. What's the height? 10 meters. So we are going to end up with a basically 50,000 joules. Then this must be given in standard form. So we move how many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 5.0 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 joules. This is the answer. Which is in this case, if you look at uh, the options, you see A. So please make sure to understand. The temptation is to multiply this by that, which is going to give you a uh, basically 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 6. Jaws. This is incorrect. You notice that the temptation is to go with D, but it's against gravity. So it's A. So A is the correct answer. Please take note of this. If it's against gravitational force, is the height. Let us look at question A7. The following diagram shows a simple machine. What type of a machine is heat? So if you look at this one, this is basically a wheelbarrow. It has a pivot here. Then this is where the load is. Then this is where effort is applied. So um, when you look at this, you understand there are about six types of machines when you're dealing with moments. So let us see at the option. We have a gear. So gear is not part of the six uh, machines. So the six machines are basically one, the uh, lever. Then two, you have uh, basically inclined planes. Then a uh, three, you have wedge. Four, you have basically screw. Then a uh, five, you have weave and axle. Then uh, lastly, uh, six, you have a pulley. So these are the six types of simple machines. Then when you look at uh, the first one, the lever. So the lever has a fulcrum or a vote point where it turns. So this one, uh, it has uh, a falcon or the, the pivot point. So this is uh, the pivot point where it turns. Examples of a uh, lever machine are basically we have a scissors. Then we have press, bottle opener 
and wheelbarrow itself. So wheelbarrow in this case is a river. So we see that B in this case is a correct answer. Let us look at question A8. E the following diagram shows boiling water and ice in the test tube. So we have basically steam, boiling water, test tube, wire, gauze, then ice cubes, then heat. The question, what is the aim of this experiment? So to show that, so basically we need to identify the aim of this experiment. That's what the question requires us to do. So, we have A, heat cannot travel downwards, B, ice cannot melt in boiling water, C, steam is a good conductor of heat, D, water is a bad conductor of heat. So, what is the purpose of this experiment? So, this experiment is done to show that uh, liquids and gases are poor conductor of heat. That's the purpose of this so what you notice from these options you know that a d in this case is a, uh, the correct answer so why are liquids and gases poor conductor of it so this is uh, because uh, particles in these two substances are loosely packed so this makes it difficult for each energy to pass to the adjacent uh, far particles as opposed to the solid in solid the particles are closely packed and they are able to transfer heat energy from one particle to another because they are closely packed they are in contact while in liquid and the gases these particles that are responsible for transferring uh, heat energy they are loosely packed they are far apart from each other because of that this makes these two the bad conductor of heat so what you notice in this case water will be boiling on top here but these ice cubes would take long to uh, melt because this heat energy here which is coming here is not being transferred here because of the, the particles of the liquids are loosely packed. So basically this is how you answer this question. So please join me in the next episode as we move to question 9.